Canada's second city of Montreal was the setting for the 32nd Rogers Cup presented by National Bank. This week, crowds flocked to the Unipri Stadium to watch the world's elite and cheer on some home favourites. The talk of the town was 21-year-old Stephanie Dubois, who thrilled her home fans by putting out a player ranked 102 places higher than her, Maria Kirilenko. But Canadian hearts would inevitably be broken, twice as first Alexandra Wozniak and then Dubois fell to the sword of world number two Yelena Yankovic. But away from the court, Wozniak was going down a storm, this time on the catwalk, at a charity evening which raised over $75,000 for tennis in schools across Canada, and it gave all the players the chance of a glamorous night out in the city. It's just a really eclectic city. I love that because there are different types of people. I walked around, you know, the last couple of days and you know I see a lot of like artsy people that are really like crazy. Then I see people like wearing Halloween outfits and it's amazing because you don't get you know, you don't get to see that a lot and you know everybody expresses the personality really well here and yeah, it's like a little European New York. But on court, Maria Sharapova struggled with a shoulder injury, playing through the pain to win her first match before she was forced to withdraw from the tournament. Anna Ivanovic won the hearts of Montreal fans two years ago, when as the number 13 seed she lifted the Rogers Cup, winning her first Tier 1 title and announcing her ascent to superstardom. This week, the world number one met fans from a city that holds a special place for her. They're very nice and very friendly and the tournament organization is great. They really help and take care of each player individually and um, I really enjoy coming back here and you know it's always nice to um, to meet the local people and to you know to see what they like and uh, what their uh, tradition is. Yeah. But after almost a month away from the game Ivanovic returned to court battling a mysterious thumb injury and she lost in the third round to 17 year old Tamira Pasek. Until last week the Austrian hadn't won a match in four months and credits her turnaround to reuniting with her coach Larry Passos. So an early exit for Ivanovic meant the door opened once again for Yelena Jankovic to steal the number one spot but she didn't take her chance the easy way. Losing in the quarterfinal wasn't part of the plan, but when Svetlana Kuznetsova also fell at the same stage, Jankovic knew she had done enough. She will officially become the world number one when the rankings are released on August the 11th. Slayer of Jankovic and a player on a meteoric rise is Dominika Sibylkova. The 19-year-old Slovak had also shown little respect to Dementieva, Petrova and Bartoli en route to her first Tier 1 final. Her opponent, Dinara Safina, made it through to her second final in seven days, thanks to an eight-match winning streak which included a thrilling fight back against Kuznetsova in the semi-finals. With a title at this level already and a Grand Slam runner-up showing this year, the Russian drew on her experience to dominate proceedings. Sybil Kova, who will leap into the world's top 20 with her run here, could find little answer to the world number eight. She stormed the first set and from then on the match became a foregone conclusion. Safina claims her eighth Sony Ericsson WTA Tour title. I'm still so tired that just to think about it, something now, and it's emotions and tiredness. So maybe when I'll wake up tomorrow and I'll realize what I did in those two weeks because I really could not even rest from LA. And um, let's see, I don't know, but at the moment I just want to recover good after those great two weeks. Dinara Safina, Rogers Cup champion 2008.